and you would end up with a bigot that is sort of shaped like a peanut. Hello everyone, thank you for coming or for coming back. In case you haven't already been spending all of your extra free time making bread, I'm here with the recipe to help you start. Today I am showing you my favorite recipe for baguettes. Now I know I say this about a lot of things, but these are really easy to make and they also have the extra little added bonus of making your whole kitchen smell like fresh baked bread. Now, if you want to make these, then all the ingredients and measurements are down below, so check that out if you want to make them. We are going to start the night before by adding our first smaller quantities of flour, water, salt, and yeast. As you can see, I am mixing this in a Tupperware, so it's really easy to put a lid on and let rest at room temperature for 12 hours. So we are going to come back to it 12 hours later when it looks a little something like this and we'll come back to that in a minute but for now we're going to mix together our second quantities of flour and water in the bowl of a stand mixer just until combined then we're going to cover that and let it rest for 30 minutes 30 minutes later we can mix the rest of our dough so into our bowl we are going to add our last quantity of salt and yeast as well as our pre-fermented dough and we're going to mix that on a medium speed for around seven minutes. This is done when you are able to stretch the dough to a thinness that you can see light through without it ripping a hole. At this point, you are going to round up your dough and let it rest for an hour. After an hour, we are ready to shape our baguettes. So we are going to start by dividing this in two. Mine ended up weighing 360 grams each. So go ahead, weigh it and divide it. And then we can shape our baguettes. Now to shape them, you're gonna go ahead and lightly stretch it into a rectangular shape. Then you're gonna fold the top to the middle, the bottom to the middle, and then the new top and bottom in half and you're going to seal it shut with the heel of your hand. Now you're going to roll this out, slightly tapering the ends to around 15 inches in length, and then we can let them rise once more. Now to proof, we are going to put these in a floured kitchen towel, and you're just going to fold up a little wall in between the baguettes so that they don't stick to each other while they're rising. Then you can cover these up, and I like to let them rest at room temperature for an hour, and then I put them in the fridge for another half an hour, because it makes them a little bit easier to handle later on. Now to bake these, you are going to want to turn your oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. And before turning the oven on, put a baking tray in and let it come to heat with the oven. Once the oven is hot, you can take your warm tray out of the oven and put your cold baguettes onto it. And now we are going to score them. Scoring helps the steam escape while they are baking and it also gives them a little bit of a decoration. So using a very sharp knife or a razor blade, you're going to want to put three cuts in the top of the baguette. Now when making these cuts, you want them to be as straight as possible and not in a diagonal. When you think about a baguette, I know that you see the cut and it's diagonal, but when you bake it, it gets exaggerated. So if you started with a straight cut, it'll turn into a diagonal. But if you start with a diagonal cut, because of the way the bread rises, it would get exaggerated and you would end up with a baguette that is sort of shaped like a peanut. And you don't really want that. So you want to keep these lines almost completely straight up and down without them running into each other. So these are going to go into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And as soon as you put them in the oven, you want to spray them with some water. Now, this is because it creates some steam in the oven and it allows the bread to rise to its full extent. If you don't have a clean spray bottle that you can use, then what you can do is have an oven safe dish, fill it with some water and put it in the bottom of the oven and it'll create a little bit of steam in there as well. 
Now you can take these out when they are nice and crispy on the outside and a beautiful deep golden brown and we're done. As always, I would recommend that you eat these as soon as possible. These are homemade baguettes and not store-bought, so they will stale just a little bit faster, but if they do get a little bit hard on you, then they still really are great if you use them for something like French onion soup or bruschetta or even just a French toast. So I hope you make these, I hope you like them, and I'll see you next time.